Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. Today I am so excited to read with you When Willie Went to the Wedding by Judith Kerr. Judith Kerr is also the author of The Tiger Who Came to Tea as well as the Mog series, all about Mog, her real life cat whom she wrote a series about. So if you like this, I think you should check out more books by Judith Carr. Without further ado, let's begin. When Willie Went to the Wedding, written and illustrated by Judith Kerr. Once there was a boy called Willie. He had lots of pets and a grown-up sister. Willie's sister was so grown up that she was getting married and Willie was going to the wedding. Shall I bring my pets to the wedding? said Willie. No, said Willie's father. No, said Willie's mother. No, said Willie's grown up sister. Better not, old chap, said Bruce, who was going to marry Willie's sister. Your pets might not like it. So Willie did not bring his dog to the wedding. He did not bring his cat or her three kittens. He did not even bring his goldfish. He only brought his hamster because it liked to be in his pocket and his frog so that it would not be lonely. Come on, cried Willie's father. Everyone's waiting at the church. It was not far. Remember to walk slowly, said Willie's father. And remember to hold up my dress, said Willie's sister. The church was full of friends and uncles and aunts. They all turned to look at the bride. I think I'll take a picture of the wedding, said Willie's Uncle Fred. Suddenly, one of the aunts screamed. Look, she cried. It was not Willie's fault that his cat had followed him to church. It was not his fault that the three kittens had followed the cat. Cats don't come to weddings, said the vicar. Willie said, I'll look after them. The vicar gave them something to sit on. Then he married Willie's sister to Bruce. Now for the wedding picture, cried Willie's Uncle Fred. Everyone stood quite still. But Uncle Fred did not stand still. It was not Willie's fault that his dog was waiting outside the church. It was not his fault that the dog was pleased to see him. How disgraceful, screamed Willie's aunt. Take your pets home, cried Willie's mother. At once, cried Willie's father. I think they'd be happier there, old chap, said Bruce. There was food and drink for everyone at home. Willie said, I'll give my pet something to eat. The hamster was hungry too. Now I will take my picture of the wedding, said Uncle Fred. But Willie's aunt screamed, a mouse! She screamed, a horrible orange mouse. It was not Willie's fault that his hamster was hungry. It was not his fault that the hamster liked cake. And it was not Willie's fault that his frog wanted a drink. Or that his aunt was frightened of frogs. Or that the cats got all upset. None of it was his fault, but everyone was cross. Take your pets away, cried his mother. Right away, cried his father. Away, 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 screamed his aunt. But what about the picture, said Willie. What about the picture of the wedding? My pets should be in it. After all, they did come. No, cried Willie's mother and Willie's father. No, 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 cried Willie's aunt. Uncle Fred set up his camera. I'd better go then, said Willie. But Bruce said, stop. 
Willie stopped. I don't agree at all, said Bruce. I'm very fond of pets, and I should love some in my wedding picture. Just a moment, said Willie. He ran to get something. Uncle Fred clicked his camera. It was a lovely wedding picture. I'm glad my goldfish wasn't left out, said Willie. Even a goldfish can enjoy a wedding. And that is the end of that story. Thank you so much for joining me for today's reading of When Willie Went to the Wedding, written and illustrated by Judith Kerr. I hope you enjoyed that and I can't wait to see you next time. Adios.